the structure of Revelation fits the alphabet of the Hebrew language. Since we're in the 12th chapter, we look at the 12th letter of, of the Hebrew. And in the, in the 12th letter, we have um, this uh, Lamed. And uh, it also, what we have here on, on the left is the actual letter, the Hebrew letter. Anciently, it was written in a pictograph form, which looks kind of like a shepherd's staff, but it's upside down. And the meaning of each letter actually had a meaning. And in Hebrew letters uh, or writings, the letter Alamed meant a staff, a cattle goat, or a correcting rod to control, to prod, or urge something to drive toward or forward, something uh, or a tongue, as in teaching or correction. So Lamed means to teach, to correct, to lead, like a shepherd leading his flock, a correcting stick, a rod. Remember we read about that Jesus would have this rod which we would rule over the nations with? In fact, we have it up here, Revelation 12, 12, 5. She brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. This pattern is, is, is remarkable because it, so far it has fit every chapter in Revelation. And it's also fit every chapter in the Gospel of John, by the way, because John is the same author. And in Revelation 12, 15, we read the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. We said that was teaching, right? It's false teaching. The Satan has false teaching and lies. Well, this letter represents teaching as well. And in Matthew chapter 7, 26, we read, And everyone that hears these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand, and the rains descended, the floods came, the winds blew, beat upon the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Jesus waited false teaching with false words. First he said, those who paid attention to his words, which would be the true water of life, their house stood firm when the floods came. But then he says the ones who didn't pay attention to his word, that heard something else, their houses were crushed by the flood. So once again, we see how, the whole, how this whole chapter corresponds with this letter. We also uh, see uh, see this in the in the uh, Gospel of John. I said it also follows the same structure. Uh, we have some scriptures right out of chapter twelve from, from the Gospel of John. What we see here is um, Jesus is urging them to follow the voice or the tongue. Another meaning of the letter Lamed is tongue to teach using the tongue or to correct. You know, parents don't have to whip their kids. All they most of the time, all they have to do is correct them with words, right? And he said, Jesus is saying, follow the voice of the shepherd or the tongue of the shepherd. Um, John 12, 26 says, if any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Uh, 12, 32, it says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. What is that? It's the shepherd, right? We're supposed to follow Jesus. Remember, he said, the, uh, the sheep will only hear the voice of the shepherd. If we're following another voice, we're not his, right? And what, what is the other voice? The other voice is some other thing other than the word of God. If you're, if you're going to a church and you're listening to, and the preacher's not preaching out of the book, He's not preaching the word. You're listening to something else. You know, you can only have one, two, you know, one choice. It's either, or two choices, either word, God's word or it's not. And we, we, we uh, went over the version, the, 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 the uh, versions of the translations. We, we see they're changing translations as well, but that's a whole other thing. In John chapter 12, 35, 36, it says, Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while, while it is light with you, walk while you have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walks in the darkness knows not where he goes. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may be children of the light. These things spake Jesus and departed and did hide himself from them. What is he, what is he admonishing here? He says, his instruction, again, he's pointing back to his instruction, his words, the tongue, what came out of his mouth, not the serpent's mouth. As long as you have my words, do what I say while you can still do what I say. There's coming a time 
where you may not have that anymore. So listen to what he said. Jesus said in uh, verse 49, he said, I have, I have not spoken of myself. And I didn't make up these words. He said, the Father which sent me gave me commandment what I should say and what I should speak. Wow. In other words, the words that we have are not only Jesus' words, they're words of the Father. The Father told him what to say. And I know his commandment is life everlasting, and whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. You want to know how your judgment's going to go? When you see Christ, what, what, what's the judgment going to be like? Well, maybe he's just going to read the Word of God. And every time you're guilty, the, a buzzer will go off. I'm not really sure, but I know this. Jesus spoke the words. The Holy Spirit spoke the words. God endorses the words. So if we want to know what God's thoughts are, we got to go to the book. If we go to anything else, we're going to hear a different voice.
splendor, from which she also got the nickname the glorified woman. In fact, the very name Cassiopeia means the beautiful enthroned. 